Three-year-old Colton Gelding Pacers behind the gate moving up. Matron final purse, $203,288. They're off. There goes St. George Island out for the lead. Peruvian Hanover leaves. So does Rattle and Rock. Full of fun comes out of there in fourth. Bagel Beach Boy fifth. Then comes J.K. Bandit, gun that won the West, and running start is at the end. End of the turn, three wide, rattle and rock up to get the lead, proving Hanover has the rail. St. George Island back to third, full of fun, got in there fourth, in front of Bagel Beach Boy. Then comes J.K. Bandit, those trailers, gun that won the West, running start, 26 flat, they come by the stands. Rattle and rock's got it two lanes. Peruvian Hanover worked out a two-hole trip, St. George Island went back to third. In fourth, full of fun, Bagel Beach Boy getting underway and that gets out full of fun. Then comes J.K. Bandit, gun that won the West and running start. They're into the clubhouse turn. On the front, Rattle and Rock's got the lead. Sitting second there, Peruvian Hanover right alongside. That's full of fun. Covered up, Bagel Beach Boy. St. George Island shoveled the fifth on the outside, J.K. Bandit. Then it's gun that won the West and running start. 54-4, and four, they head up the back stretch. Rattle and Rock being joined by Full of Fun. Here comes Bagel Beach Boy flying up three wide. They're midway up the back stretch. Bagel Beach Boy from the outside right up to get the lead. Full of Fun back to second. To the outside there, Peruvian Hanover into the final turn. And Bagel Beach Boy is off by three widening lanes. Peruvian Hanover up into second. Full of Fun drops back third. Trapped in there, St. George Island. J.K. Band alongside. Gun that won the West wants to get out three wide. Can't. 120. 22 and 2 at the top of the stretch. Bagel Beach Boy has crushed this field. Bagel Beach Boy by five. Peruvian Hanover takes up the chase. It's going to be Bagel Beach Boy. Watch the teletimer. Bagel Beach Boy, gun that won the West. Peruvian Hanover, 50 and 1. Track record. For a three year old pacing, Colt, uh, pacing gelding. Also breaks the Colt mark. is number one, Bagel Beach Boy, a three-year-old bake yelling by Jenna's Beach Boy, owned by Lloyd Arnold, trained by Dan Warrington, driven to victory by Steve Warrington. 150 and one-fifth, fastest mile ever paced here at Dover Downs by a three-year-old. In the winner's circle, making a presentation, manager of harness racing, John Hensley, along with publicity director, Marv Bachrod. To the winning owner, Lloyd Arnold, many friends, and driver, Steve Warrington, and trainer, Dan Warrington. Thank you very much, Jack Gallagher, and just as a, a happy bunch right here. First, let's get the driver, and that was quite a trip for you, Steve. Uh, You've been high on this horse ever since you got him less than a month ago, and he certainly has lived up to all expectation. Yeah, you know, I don't know too many people when it comes to buying a horse will step up to the plate and swing a bat like Lloyd. And uh, when you got somebody like that on a team, why, you just want to do the best you can. That's all Dan and I are doing. Let's take a look at this race in review. You had the rail. How did you look at the race, and where did you want to be, and did it work out the way that you expected? Well, more of I could... BS as good as anybody here, but tell you the truth, he raced a good last week. I just thought he was the best and uh, just kind of waited until the smoke cleared to move him. Well, this was a, a very uh, strong field, any way you look at it. Uh, the horses that you had to contend with had plenty uh, on paper there. How good is Bagel Beach Boy? Well, I reckon he could have paced 49 and a half tonight. Uh, in the stretch, you came home in 28 in a piece there. Could he have come back uh, home faster than that? Yeah, but he's got a lot of racing to do yet, and uh, no sense uh, showing off too much. Well, Steve, congratulations and great job. Let's get the trainer right now and talk a little bit about this prize possession of the stable. Well, the first thing I have to do is thank the Lord for a driver like my brother and an owner like Mr. Arnold. 
Uh, Mr. Arnold's a true gentleman, and like Stevie said, he'll step up to the plate any time. Well, you have an outstanding other member of the stable in Sanibel Island, and I know the care that you gave her to bring her back each and every time. Uh, now you've got a, a male horse to go along with that. Tell me about Bagel Beach Boy. When you first saw him, what were your uh, impressions? Well, he's a good-looking horse. There's no doubt about that. But the main thing about him is he's just about the perfect horse to train. Mm -hmm. He's not going to hurt himself. He's a good gated horse, and he takes care of himself, which is the main thing. He doesn't really pick up a line until you get behind the starting gate. One last question. What are the plans now for the rest of this year and during the winter? Make as much money as we can. <laughs> so you'll be racing. We'll be racing. Now, last but not least, let me uh, say hello and congratulations to a guy who's had so much success in harness racing. He loves the sport, has done it for more than half a century. It wasn't uh, really that many years ago that the, adult, uh, the Arnold Cattle Company was running supreme through the Midwest with Dancing David and Great Horses. I think you're having more fun now, Lloyd Arnold. Life's just beginning. You know, when you go to the uh, sales, and I, I know you expected to pay a lot of money for a horse of the caliber of Bagel Beach Boy. Uh, how high would you have gone? And I know it was well worth it right now. Well, I, I really don't know. Uh, we went to buy one horse, or at least that's what I went to buy. And the only thing I know, you just keep your hand in the air till you get him. Mm -hmm. Well, $300,000 is, is quite a sum of money. Uh, even with all the success that you've had, you've had a couple of horses along the way that certainly uh, have not lived up to their billing. Uh, you paid a lot of money for a number of horses that just uh, never made it. So this, this is kind of satisfying, isn't it? It's really rewarding. And I want to thank uh, the Warrington team. You know, all I do is I'm just the, the gas for the tank. But they do all the work, and they do it great, and they're honest and couldn't ask for a better team. Well, Lloyd, people in harness racing, those that have been around as long as I, uh, realize what you've done for the sport. Uh, you brought back racing to the West Coast at Los Alamitos several decades back, and right now you're in Delaware, and it seems like uh, you're, you're back as a young guy again. It has lengthened my life, I'm sure, and I want to thank you for giving me the opportunity to race here. Thank you very much. Lloyd Arnold, owner of the winner of the $203,000 Matron final, Bagel Beach Boy. Back to Jack Gallagher. Inquiry still posted concerning number three, Gun That Won the West.